Welcome to Intalibat. Today, we are going to discuss who is a business analyst and what do they do to keep yourself updated with the hottest trending technologies and careers. Do subscribe to Intalibat channel. And if you have got any queries, kindly leave your comments below and we shall respond to them at the earliest. In this session, we'll cover why we need business analysts and their roles in an organization. Then we'll move on to the role of business analyst and data analyst. Business analysis process and then we'll look into a case study to understand how business analytics resolve the issues in an organization. At last, we'll see the different career opportunities it has for you. Let's begin. John is the product manager for ABC Software Security Solutions and has been asked to work with IT team to make some major changes in the software security process. John understands the security process but does not have a deep understanding of how the software and the process works. Hence, he must include somebody from IT department. He includes Peter who is the security manager. However, Peter needs to engage his software development team as they'll be developing the software. Peter also needs to include Nancy as she is the chief security officer of that organization. Now the team has been formed to develop requirements, close gaps and address any issues and concerns in the system. However, John is not an expert in capturing the requirement and managing them. So, he must assign a specialist who will help him in this so that he can focus on his other work. John hires a business analyst who is expert in capturing and managing requirements. Now the business analyst will engage all his team members and captures their specific requirements and objectives of the project. He'll also identify the gaps, concerns and inconsistencies in the projects and work with all the team members to address the same. Now you must be thinking, does business analyst develop the code? Or does he recommend any changes to the project? What exactly does he do? So the business analyst will not do any kind of software development or coding. He does not recommend any changes to the security system. He does not provide requirements or attempt to influence the other players to decide that whatever he thinks is the right way to do things. So what will he do then? The business analyst will produce a comprehensive set of requirement specifications that everyone will sign off on. This will then be used by the code development team to make the changes to the security system in the organization. Business analysts will do this by using communication skills either written or oral. Active listening skills, negotiation and conflict resolution skills, organization and time management skills and presentation skills. So what is business analysis? Business analysis is the task of understanding business change needs, assessing the business impact of those changes, capturing, analyzing and documenting requirements and supporting the communication and delivery of requirements with relevant stakeholders. Business analysis is the task of understanding business change needs, assessing the business impact of those changes, capturing, analyzing and documenting requirements and supporting the communication and delivery of requirements with relevant stakeholders. The business analyst is a liaison between different stakeholders in an organization. He acts as a bridge and helps the project team work as an integrated unit. In general, the business analyst will convert data into business insights using tools and techniques. The data can be from spreadsheets or traditional database or any social media. Now let us understand the role of a business analyst in different verticals. The common verticals in the industry are business, technical, managerial and functional. In this vertical, the business analyst will thoroughly understand the objectives of the business and identify the limitations to develop a business case. Elicit requirements through different techniques like interviews, brainstorming sessions and evaluate them for correctness. 
briefly document requirements using use cases, business requirement documentation, functional requirement specification documents, etc. In technical vertical, the business analyst will perform technical analysis by examining technical dependencies and challenges that may pose a risk to the success of the project. Develop data models, create product prototypes and model requirements in the form of graphical user interfaces. Document requirements from a technical standpoint by creating context diagrams, class diagrams and activity diagrams. In managerial vertical, business analysts will facilitate the implementation of products by communicating with the entire project team. Develop comprehensive plans like the business analysis plan, test plan and other ad hoc plans. Assist with testing efforts by performing functional testing of the products. Support change management by understanding the depth of changes. In functional vertical, the business analyst will perform a cost-benefit analysis of a proposed project by assessing the amount to be spent on the project versus the benefit expected to be attained from it. Suggest process improvement methods to make effective organization policies. Constantly communicate with stakeholders. Helps in estimating the project cost and time. The business analyst will use different tools to analyze the data and make a data-driven decision in the project. Some of those tools are R, Python, Apache Spark, Apache Storm, PIG and HIVE. Some of the other commercial analytics tools are SAS, Tableau, Excel, ClickView and Splunk. By looking at all these roles, you must be thinking that both business analysts and data scientists do almost the same jobs. Well, you are wrong. Let us tabulate how business analytics is different from data scientists. The first difference is in decision making. The business analyst will initiate the process of converting raw data into tangible resources for business decision making. Whereas, in the case of data scientists, they'll discover the opportunity in data sets by mining data and writing algorithms to support decision making. Next is applied problem solving. The business analyst will define the business problems and translate statistical analysis into business intelligence, which improves the business performance. Data scientists will create a foundation for analysis which is then used to solve business problems. Data analysis. Business analysts will research, interpret and visualize the analysis to make it useful for business users. And data scientists will manage and organize a large set of data using different methods. Next is analytical models. In analytical models, the business analyst will understand and prescribe the solutions that use data modeling, whereas data scientists are experienced statistical programmers using different languages and tools. Business analysts will define and align the database requirements for various forms of data, and data scientists will design and structure the database using different tools like Oracle and Hadoop. I'm sure you must have now got the clarity in job roles of business analyst and data scientist. Now let us look at the business analysis process. How a business analyst will work in an organization process. The main role of a business analyst can be described through several prominent tasks. First, they learn and understand the business problem. Then they work with the business users to identify the business needs and then define the project scope. Then comes the core of the business analytics role in eliciting, analyzing, documentation and communicating requirements. At the end, business analysts will verify whether the gathered requirements meet project needs. Now let us look closely at each of these phases. Step 1. It is about understanding the problem to define a solution to a business problem. In this case, business analyst needs to understand the product or service provided by the organization. The business analyst will also define the target customer and stakeholders. Step 2. Identifying the business needs or solutions. In this phase, business analyst gathers information from stakeholders and understands the need of the project. 
Step 3 is defining the project scope. In this phase, the business analyst talks with the project manager and then the project team in defining the scope. Step 4 is requirement elicitation. As we discussed earlier, this is the core task of the business analyst role. There are various types of requirement elicitation techniques available such as one-on-one -on -one interview, focus group, questionnaire and many more. One-in-one -in -one interviews. In this case, the business analyst will interact with subject matter experts. This will help the business analyst to understand the whole concept of the project. Focus groups are like interviews in which a group of people will be asked together in a room and discuss their requirements with each other. This will help the business analyst to find a solution in a better suitable way. Another useful technique is to send out a questionnaire or survey to customers or stakeholders. This could be in any form like email, Google form or any other tool. Apart from these, there are other popular elicitation techniques like observation or job shadowing. Step 5 is analyzing requirements. Once a business analyst has gathered information, he has to prioritize, categorize, validate these requirements and so on. Step 6 is requirement documentation. In this case, business analyst documents all the information and produces reports like process flows, UML diagrams and other documentation. Step 7. Requirements Communication This is an important skill for the business analyst to possess, wherein he or she will be working to bring different stakeholders of the project to a common understanding of the requirements and to get their buy-in on the final solution. Step 8. This is about verifying that the implemented solution meets the requirements. After the requirements handoff is done to the technical team, the business analyst works for ensuring that the technical design meets the business requirements and usability standards. This is a general working process of a business analyst. So next, let me share the sample architecture which shows how the process looks technically. It does not cover the entire process, but it will help you to understand the overview of the process. For example, as you all can see on the screen, we are going to pull data from transactional systems such as from our supply chain or from points of sale systems from finance data by using ETL. So this means extracting the data, transforming it, getting it into the format we need and then loading it. We'll store this data into a data warehouse which acts as a repository and then what we'll do is we'll point our analytics tools to generate the graphs and models. The analytical tool can be Microsoft Excel, Tableau, ClickView or any other. Now let's look at the case study and understand how a business analyst will play a major role in an organization. We all are familiar with the British multinational telecommunication conglomerate, Vodafone. Vodafone in the past got mired in the problem of too much of data and not enough insights. Vodafone's previous attempts to leverage big data had been costly and inefficient. The company's leadership wanted to improve decision making by using big data and advanced analytics in an efficient and cost effective way. The analytics capabilities were needed in different departments and spread across the organization. Its business unit had its own data and insights. This would lead to duplicate data in the analyst process. The business analyst was faced with the challenge of not getting fast access to the big data and gaining business relevant insights from it. When analysts requested data from various internal sources and vendors, the data received was in inconsistent formats and missing data definitions. Time-consuming cleansing was needed before analysis could begin. A plethora of siloed tools and data environments made analytics tasks difficult to execute and share. So, there was a need for change. The company's leaders recognized that insights gleaned from big data could help build competitive advantages and a more efficient cost structure. 
They asked for Deloitte support as their organization developed a pragmatic, repeatable way to streamline their bloated analytical processes and gain more value from their investment. The organization's project leaders started by aligning the company's leadership under a common analytics vision rather than recommending a massive analytics project that would change how the entire company used big data and analytics. The team selected a small number of pilot projects that could demonstrate the potential value of the new analytics vision on a small scale. This approach came with lower risk and enabled the sharing of experience. As a result of this, the telecoms business and IT leaders worked together to evaluate the company's existing analytics capabilities, to crystallize the company's analytics vision, and to identify the skills and technologies needed to achieve this vision. They identified a mix of business use cases to demonstrate how big data insights could drive revenue growth and reduce costs. This project resulted in increased customer response rates to digital advertising and reduced IT storage costs. Additionally, the project team identified the core technology and solutions the company needed for efficient big data analysis. Most importantly, the company is building a foundation to build a sustainable analytics program. Business analytics work in several industries and departments like healthcare, government agencies, e-commerce, financial markets, etc. In today's marketplace, the demand for professionals who can use analytic tools to drive positive outcomes for businesses is rapidly increasing. Doesn't it sound so great? So do you also want to start your career as a business analyst? Well, here is a quick analysis of business analyst career. In general, there are three main categories and it really depends on your interest whether you choose to take a specialist route, management route, subject meta expert route or choose to make a lateral move along the way. So let us move on to each of these categories. Business analyst specialist. When I say business analyst specialist, they are the master of all the competencies in business analysis body of knowledge and they are well versed in all the knowledge areas. This person will start a career as a junior business analyst for entry level business analyst job and then climbs to the senior business analyst position. One can also become an enterprise architect which is like a super business analyst. Next in the list is the management route. This is suited towards people who have got passion for helping others grow in their careers and so on. At this point, you are a mentor to younger business analysts and are likely working as a business analyst lead or manager. The third route is the subject meta expert route. In general, this revolves around a specific industry business division or technology. Some of the examples are health information systems business analyst in the health industry or human resources information systems business analyst in the HR domain. However, it is not a hard and fast rule to go through a specific route. The advancement in the IT sector suggests that the reliance on business analytics and intelligence will increase many fold in coming years. As you can see, the number of job openings are also increasing for a business analyst than data scientists. You can also see the average salary of the business analyst is as shown across the world. This is the right time to start your career as a business analyst. Visit our website today and join our business analyst training. Thank you for watching this video. For any inquiries, feel free to contact us. Have a great career and day ahead.